Hello everyone, welcome back to another GTA Online weekly update news video by me, King Vector Level. Where as much work as I put into making this video for you guys, I try my best to inform you of anything or everything you may need or want to know. Including GTA Online weekly updates information that I will explain to you in detail for the first part of this video, and any GTA related news that you may need or want to know that I will explain to you in the second part of this video, including what I'll mention to you now specifically for PC players. And of course, I was not clear enough somehow to those who refuse to use their proper senses of hearing and seeing, where I would like to specify once again for PC players, the arcade is still disabled for PC players. The arcade for PC players is still disabled to this day for PC players. I hope I was clear enough on that, please. I hope so. It's not that hard to understand English. I mean, I hope I'm speaking English. Or at least enough English or English enough, whatever. And also, there are some mod developers out there in GTA Online who has introduced a new remote crash exploit. But I'll go into those details very shortly, so I hope you guys do find this video informative, and if you do, do a like and subscribe for more content like this every Thursday evening, or you can go the extra mile and share this video with your friends, or leave a comment on what you liked or disliked about the information you have received, in which I try my best to be as accurate and informative as possible to inform you in this local area of YouTube of anything or everything you may need or want to know. So without further ado, let's get into the information we have received. I wish I could have made my introduction shorter, but unfortunately, there were just those who, <laughs> yeah, needed, I don't know, vocabulary therapy. But anyways, uh, moving on. So this week that only lasts until Tuesday for the next couple of days, we have not that many bonuses, but at the same time, it's only five days. We have triple rewards, NRP on drag and drift races, as well as new community series jobs. Finally, thank you. We also have double money and RP for new gen players for their wildlife photography and double money on salvage yard daily income. Moving straight to discounts, we have 50% off the vintage pistol from especially the gun van if you wish. We have 40% off these vehicles, the 300R, Taipan, Vigoro ZX, Weaponized Tampa, X80 Proto, Corsita, Tailgater S, Virtue, Ignis, and Emerus. And as well as that, 30% off the salvage yard properties as well as their upgrades and modifications. Moving on to vehicle showcases, this week's Prodium vehicle for the Diamond Casino Spin of the Wheel is the Weevil. The prize right this week is the Comet S2 Cabrio, in which you have to place top 5 for 4 days in a row basically all week long throughout this week's weekly update. In an LS Carmate series, this week's test rides when you go underground features the Ceruso, the Rustin, and the Blade. For new gen players, your test ride vehicle is the Vivanite. Luxury Autos vehicles features the Turismo Omaggio FR36 and and Simeon's showroom vehicles features five vehicles now available from in-game websites, the Tyrus, Super Diamond, Rapid GT, Rat Bike, and Bodhi. And finally, weekly challenges. This week's premium race is 8 figure bonus. This week's time trial for all players is Galileo Park. This week's new gen time trial is easy to find with. This week's weekly challenge is to win just two drifter drag races for $100,000. And this week's salvage yard robberies features three vehicles the Sentinel Classic through the Duggan robbery and the Turos through the cargo ship robbery. And you can claim the Itali GTO this week if you have done it through the Gangbanger robbery, which, by the way, I need to let you know right now before I waste any time the license plate bug is still in effect for PC players in which if you try to claim this vehicle after stealing it it will not come with the license plate for PC players unfortunately yeah Rockstar just doesn't give a flying fuck about PC I guess and that's generally that's new for this week's weekly update if you want to know anything just in general but i'll go through the specifics right now for those who are interested but before i move on through that there is still news on that i would like to give for as long as this shall last of course the casino heist planning has been temporarily disabled into pc to address the critical exploit in which sometime soon after there was even more info given about this exploit where rockstar has basically Terminated access temporarily through Casino High searches of the arcade property until a permanent fix is in place. But then shortly after, on June 14th, which was the last time Rockstar made an update on this information, as well because, well, they just completely disabled the arcade from being purchased, or even maybe renewed for that case, for any new players. 
And yes, I would like to confirm through here right now, there is a new remote crash export that's been added to a P2C menu, but it's quite limited and hopefully will be patched with the upcoming DLC, which they can't affect you in private lobbies or during missions, but it only works in public lobbies. Thank goodness for that question mark. Continue playing as normal, but be wary of public lobbies as usual, yeah. Because Rockstar just doesn't give a flying fuck. They're trying to address exploits, but now modders are taking matters into their own hands and starting to throw in exploits left and right. How dare you let this happen, Rockstar? Anyways, for the specifics that's new in GTA Online, let me go through this little bit of information before the next DLC releases. Here were the latest vehicles that's already been out for a couple of weeks, maybe even months now, in GTA Online. But i just like to let you guys know before we come across the next DLC so you can look at yourself and be like, these were the latest vehicles added in the game. And yes, these were the latest vehicles added in the game. The Gauntlet Interceptor. Which mean, shares a text on that. The Terminus, quite shocking actually. That's been the latest view. That's interesting. It's already been like a couple months now. And there's a bit of text on that. And of course, the Vapid Benson. So here is the Terminus, the Gull Interceptor, and the Benson Cluck and Bell. Those were the latest vehicles added in the game. So, quite a surprise that it only. These were the latest vehicles. It only felt like a year ago or so, but. Anyways, uh, moving on, podium vehicle for this week is the Weevil, of course, if you, you can get this vehicle for free if you complete all the five missions for kind music requests that randomly calls you and when you're in a session while you're not in the mission. But if you somehow really want to get this vehicle for free through the Diamond Casino spin of the wheel, well, go right ahead, you're anyway saving yourself $600,000 or 870 k if you haven't gotten the trade price. The prize ride vehicle for this week is the Fister Comet S2 Cabrio, in which you have to place top 5 or 4 days in a row in an LS Carmate series. Okay. This week's weekly challenge, win two drag or drift races, probably the easiest challenge I would see personally. Simeon Vehicles this week features the Progen Tyrus at a price of $2,584,200. We also have the Ina Super Diamond at 250k flat. We also have the Dubaki Rapid GT at 140k flat. The Western Rat Bike at 48k flat. And Canis Bodhi, probably Trevor's vehicle from story mode, it actually is Trevor's vehicle from story mode in GTA 5, but this vehicle costs 25k. These prices are taken straight from the game, they're not made up, and all five vehicles are not available from in-game website. So now is your chance to get this vehicle before it may come either a week later, a month later, or six months later in a future weekly update. So get whatever you could this week. Luxury Autos Vehicles features the Turismo Omaggio at a price of $2,868,939 and the FR36 at a price of $1,635,650. Test Track Vehicles features an awesome vehicle, too bad it's not on discount. A Vapid Blade, I'm glad I got this vehicle before it's removed from in-game websites. It costs 160 k flat. We also have the Hijack Rustin that's not available from in-game websites, as well as the Vapid Blade, but it is worth $430,000. And the Pegasi Zeruso, not available from in-game websites anymore, at least as it says, and it is worth $1,925,000 k flat. Vehicle Robberies. This is the showcased vehicle that you can steal and claim for, of course, a fee of $20,000 or $10,000 if you own a document forgery office. This is the look of the Itali GTO that you can steal this week for the next five days. Of course, for free, but then you have to claim it for the fee, whatever. But still, Rockstar has stated this in their newswire, where you can claim the Grotti Italia GTO through the Gang Banger Robbery. Other vehicles that are featured on the Savage Road Robbery targets are the Ubermat Sentinel Classic through the Duggan Robbery, and the Bagassi Toros through the Cargo Ship Robbery. And of course, I had to take this image from another YouTuber to show you the information, because unfortunately, Ted's 2 has not stated this information on Twitter, which was... Quite interesting for him not to do that, but still, here are the informations that you definitely need to know. 
in regards to the vehicles that can be claimed, robbed, and through what robberies you can rob these vehicles through. Rewards for this week doesn't feature that many rewards. Of course, here is featured that we can do triple rewards on drift and drag races, in which if you win two of any one of these, you can get yourself bonus $100,000. We can also get double money on salvage yard daily income or passive income rather after completing certain tow truck services we also can get double money and rp for new gen players on ps5 and xbox series x and s on wildlife photography and of course triple money and rp on seven new community series jobs that may remain triple rewards for the next month or so but i will of course keep an update on that Besides that though, here are the continuing GTA Plus rewards for the next 5 days, but still for those who want to see the specific details of these new community series jobs on Triple Rewards, here are the stunt races on Triple Rewards, Money M Money Trophy Trophy City 2 Hashtag and G78 Curvy Oval, as well as Ninjas Hot Rain Warp 1.0 and Wild Wild Wild, yes stunt races. We also have this one race, the Kyrie Curitel D, that is, of course, a open wheel race that's on Triple Rewards for the next month or so. And we also have this deathmatch, M Upper Score, I think, M Witherspoon TDM, I don't know, my brain died there for a moment, that's on Triple Rewards though. And of course, last team standing, RPGs versus Night Sharks Aorus is on Triple Rewards. And we also have Triple Rewards, of course, on Drag and Drift Races, as well as for new gen players, you have, of course, double money on RPM Wildlife Photography, as I like to say it again. And we have double money on Salvage Yard Daily Income through Tow Truck Services. Moving on through the discounts, we have quite a selection of vehicles and properties, which I definitely recommend the Salvage Yard as well. But this week doesn't really feature that many interesting vehicles personally in my opinion, except the D-Class Weaponized Tampa or the D-Class V-Girl ZX for those who are interested. I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy anything else, but I would definitely recommend these two vehicles, definitely, including the salvage art properties. But still, moving on through the gun van inventory and discounts, we have available for the gun van inventory this week the heavy rifle assault shotgun, the battle rifle, the combat MG, molotovs, proximity mines, sticky bombs, and the worst purchase of all time, body armor for all pistol for all players, rather, we have 50% of the vintage pistol. And for players, specific players who wants to ruin Rockstar's motivation for giving us quality updates or quality content through DLC updates just because they're still making money from us anyways, you guys who are giving that sort of motivation for Rockstar Games specifically have 50% off the pool queue. How special do you feel now? Property discounts. We have 30% off all salvage yards, in which I only recommend these two locations that I've circled in green because the two locations up north and Polito Bay, whatever, so far away. What's the point of it? Uh, on top of that, the third location down here on the bottom left, there's a. Um, in place of that, there's a gang attack location, so there may be a chance you may have to do the gang attack prior to being able to enter your salvage yard, which was stated at the beginning of this DLC, and I do not think Rockstar has ever bothered to try and fix that, so I do not recommend that location either, so it's stuck between these two places, in which if you've bought the one to the right, like I've done, good for you, but if you've bought the one in the center in the middle of the city, well, good for you as well, but if you'd like to know how much money you would like to spend on average for these properties, you may spend a base of 1.8 million, but the renovations and upgrades are also 30% off. So in total, you could spend about 3.5 million, give or take, maybe 3.6 if the wall safe is around $200,000, because I can't repurchase it again for some reason. But still, it could cost you that much. So have fun. Vehicle discounts, none of them are not available from in-game websites, so straight up, we have the Ocelot Virtue that's worth 1.7 mil or 1.3 mil as a trade price, and the Anis 300R worth 1.245 million. We also have a discount on the Lampadati Corsita worth 1,077,000, or the Begazi Ignis worth 1,659,000 dollars. We also have a discount on the Progen Emerus worth 1.65 mil. The Cheval Taipan, worth 1.188 mil. The Grody X80 Proto, which is a good vehicle if it didn't have weird handling and feeling like you're driving on ice. But still, this vehicle is worth 1.62 mil. 
We have the, a discount on the Obey Tailgater S, now worth $672,750. And the weaponized Tampa is now worth 1.2 mil or a trade price of $951,000. I would definitely recommend this vehicle just because it's really fun. Honestly, I personally like it. And we have a discount on the Ducas Vigro ZX, now worth $1,168,200. I would definitely recommend you get this vehicle as well. And finally, time trials. We have a time trial for all players in Galileo Park. And for new gen players, you have a time trial in East Vinewood. Hope you guys did find this segment of the video as informative as I try my best to make it. And if you did, do it for like and subscribe. Stay for tuned for more content like this every Thursday evening. Or share this video with your friends. Or leave a comment on what you like to dislike about the information you've received. But that is as far as I'm concerned in information about this week's GTL and Weekly update for the first part of this video. Now let's move on into the news content that I have received through Twitter or Rockstar's Newswire for the second part of this video. Now, important news. Of course, Rockstar Support has said this on their Twitter just on Friday or Saturday, but they've stated that they've identified a vulnerability, which I'd like to share with you again, is still active as of now, from what I'm aware of anyways, when I've last, when I've checked last. And this only affects the PC players, I would like to let you know. So just before you start losing your head and disliking my video because you felt you were not informed because you think I'm lying, well guess what, I explained to you like 50 times, so I hope you finally got the message. In which soon after Test2 has stated Rockstar has disabled the case and heist intro and the purchase of an arcade property as an additional measure which was done on June 14th. Later on of course Rockstar support has stated of course as we continue to monitor this issue they've updated their details that can be still found at that link which as far as I'm concerned that was the last time on June 14th that they've done an update on this situation. Anyways. Moving on to other details, Test2 has stated on June 18th, expects GTLine news, well, on June 18th, which was expected to be true, he has shared a link where Rockstar has shared GTLine bottom dollar bounties coming June 25th. When you click on that link, it shows nothing more than a trailer video, as well as a bit of information, such as what is stated here. And that's it. Moving on though, Tez has stated that as you clean up the streets of Southern San Andreas, utilize a range of new law enforcement vehicles and off-the-books dispatch work for LSPD officer Vincent Effenberger. Ooh, Vincent likes to fuck up burger. Alright, um, <clears throat> moving on, of course, we'll stay by another person. Where these are the new police cars in the upcoming GTL and update that was, of course, shown in in their trailer. So we have this vehicle, I believe is the Dorado that was introduced uh, earlier this year during the Christmas event, I believe. Anyways, I'm glad that this, this is gonna turn to police vehicle. Actually, that would give me more motivation to purchase this. I would actually, that would be cool. Uh, they've also shown this vehicle. I completely forgot what it's called. Something like the Impaler SZ or something like that, but still that is going to turn to police vehicle, which would actually be pretty fun to have, I would personally say. That would be pretty cool. For us who are interested anyways. Uh, we of course have the Impaler SZ, but to the left we have a Greenwood, possibly. I would think so anyways, a bucket as core. And yeah, it's basically shown another image again, but we also have a van that we can use to, I guess transport people like you know the stinger vehicles where the front windshield is completely bulletproof but the side windscreens you can shoot right through it like it was nothing that would be pretty interesting honestly anyways uh rockstar has stated gtlm bomb dollar bounties run down all manner of reprobate scum and claim bounties in this action-packed new update of course it's action-packed action-packed full of bugs anyways to gtlm line launching on june 25th quite nice Anyways, the best part of the update is that we finally got to see Rockstar's version of Microsoft Excel. Yeah, a lot of reds, but they're doing nothing about it. Yeah, congratulations. That's how many bugs you guys have in the game that you still refuse to fix. Nice worksheet. Nice, nice self-exposure, Rockstar. Anyways, the location of the bomb dollar bail enforcement in the trailer is right across the Mission Row Police Station. Which here are some images from this, well... Uh, tweets that I would like to share with you right now in this segment of the video which here is the before version the after version and where it could be located based on the location it's basically revealed in the trailer 
And someone has even stated, here is where the location of where you'll launch the new bounty hunting missions with Mod Eccles. And how hyped are you for this update? Yay! Yeah, new police vehicles. Anyways, of course I've shared this earlier, but I'd like to state this again. In GTA Online for PC players, a remote crash exploit has been added to a P2C menu, but it's quite limited and will be patched with the DLC. Hopefully, will be patched with the DLC. It can't affect you in private lobbies or during missions, but only works in public lobbies, of course. Continue playing as normal, but beware of public lobbies as usual. Yeah, just be very careful. You, you, you may never know. Oh yeah, because there are new salvage yard robbery target vehicles like i've stated before but i'd like to share with you again the tali gto that can be claimed this week after successfully robbing it if they have fixed the play the issue with the custom plates on pc test 2 has responded with nope so this is the fifth vehicle that you can claim now but up to now it is quite unfortunate that you still have to save any one of those vehicles or salvage them if you must if you've collected them already hoping that they fixed the license plate issue but they didn't because they're lazy fucks thank you rockstar for treating us that way on pc and as that's as far that's all the information i've received so far on twitter so let's move into rockstar's newswire where earlier on they have stated a newswire for their new bottom dollar bounties dlc coming june 25th in which they have shown a video or trailer of this but as far as i'm concerned here are some texts that they've stated as part of this new update as far as we know g line bottom dollar bounties coming june 25th which was of course stated on june 18th they have stated all of this text for a long story short they would let you know that mod Eccles is looking for someone to take over the bounty hunting business and you can work with her daughter jeanette in the new dlc to basically claim bounties on i guess reprobate scum and so on that's coming june 25th and here's an image that was shown in that same newswire where Rockstar has stated as you clean up the streets of San Andreas, utilize a range of new law enforcement vehicles. Plus, look out for new drift and drag races in Rockstar Creator, as well as new experience updates, a host of new vehicles, and lots more arriving in GTA Online. A ton more. It's only going to be like six hours worth of content, but still, whatever. Thanks, Rockstar. Justice Rise on June 25th of GTA Online Bondar Bounties for PS5. For Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One and PC. Now in Rockstar's official newswire were all the information I haven't mentioned yet, I will mention for this remaining portion of the video. You can get yourself triple money and RP on drift and drag races ahead of next week's big GTL line update. Yay. Anyways, Rockstar has stated a bit of news on what is to come in a couple of days for the new g line bottom dollar bounties dlc on june 25th where there will be a three classic vehicles that will receive new drift tuning kit eligibility only three wow it takes a lot of it takes six months to optimize three vehicles that's congratulations rockstar while the creator also expands its suit of new tools to include uh, custom drift race tracks and drag race circuits why are drift race having track but drag race have circuits when dr drift race supposed to have a drift race is supposed to have circuits and drag race supposed to have tracks the hell rockstar they still don't understand anyway so you can look forward to this and lots more all summer long this new action fact you tell an update all right if you like your job to potentially be featured in a community series do what they've said over here but as far as i'm concerned here are the new community series jobs that was added into g town line as of today which is on triple rewards potentially for the next month we have wild 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 by kimmy gta love we also have ninjas hot ring warp 1.0 by the elite ninja we have dollar sign money or dollar sign m dollar sign tropi tropi city in the two hashtag by fumga 75 xd and we also have rpgs versus night sharks orvis by wxyz93 as well as that g78 curvy oval by ginopa m upper score i think that's upper score my brain might be dying on this. I don't know. I haven't studied that for so long. And M Witherspoon TDM by Mixed Up Mike and Kiri Kershaw D by Rare Kirito FDPA. Anyways, other news that you may need or want to know. The premium test drive for new gen players is the Karen Vivanite, and here's an image on this vehicle. 
And as far as I'm concerned, that's all the information that I have for you guys in this video. So once again, I hope you guys did find this as informative as I tried my best to make it. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content like this every Thursday evening. But of course, we are getting a new DLC update on Tuesday. So stay tuned for information on that day when that day comes. And well, as far as I'm concerned, thank you guys for watching. If you've made it up to this point, for those who are interested to know anything or everything they may need or want to know or found this how informative and well... See you on the next one, and well, good luck with the new RCEA going on in GTA Online on public lobbies, because Rockstar just loves them existing in their game. Like I told a friend on Discord, if RCEs was a person, GTA would lure them in with a dildo and try to fuck them right up the ass, just because they fucking want to show how passionately in love they are with them, until someone shows up to the door and says, Hey Rockstar, that's not right, for them to be like, Oh man, we have to f do we have to stop now? Yeah. Fix your game, Rockstar. Anyways, thank you for watching and uh good luck out there.